Are you in finance or accounting, or an analyst, or a small business owner or an investor? I would like to assess the performance of a company. Then you need to understand year-over-year -year analysis. A year-over-year -year analysis is sometimes referred to as year-on-year -year analysis, and it's a type of financial analysis used to assess a company's financial performance by comparing one period with the same period from the previous year. It could be a monthly, quarterly, or annual comparison, and it helps to determine if performance is improving, deteriorating, or static. So, how is it calculated? There are two common ways to calculate year-on-year -year change. The first is current year value divided by the prior year value minus one. Another way is current year value minus prior year value divided by prior year multiplied by 100. Both will give the same result and the results are usually expressed in percentage terms. Here's the current and prior year information for B&T Inc. So let's go ahead and calculate the year-on-year -year change between 2020 and 2021 in column D. 2021 is the current year, so equals B4 divided by C4 minus 1. Enter. See? So easy. Next, we need to copy the formula down. I'll paste as formulas to retain the cell format. So Ctrl C to copy. Now that they are all selected, you can right click and paste as formulas. Or press Alt E, S and F and OK. There you go. At a glance, you can see how much sales and expenses have increased between 2020 and 2021. This will help management determine if a change in strategy is required. Now to visually represent this data, and draw attention to certain line items. We can use conditional formatting to add icons to each line. I'll copy the formula to column E and apply the conditional formatting to column E. Now, an important thing you have to note here is that we have to create two different rules. This is because an increase in revenue and profit is positive because it will improve the bottom line. However, an increase in costs and expenses is negative because it will reduce the bottom line. Okay, so hold control, select revenue and profit, go to conditional formatting in the home tab, click on new rule, go to format style and select icon sets from the drop down. You can change the style here. I'll leave the default style. So now let's set the rules. We want the green icon displayed when the value is greater than zero. Change the type to number and the yellow icon should be displayed when the value is equal to zero. Change the type to number as well. And when the value is less than zero, the red icon will be displayed. Now we have the option to display icons only. This will make the table look tidy. So check this box, show icon only. Click OK. This looks good. Now let's repeat the same process for the cost items. Hold Control, select Cost and Expenses. Go to Conditional Formatting in the Home tab. New Rule. Select Icon Sets. Now click the reverse icon order button. This will change the order of the colors. Now let's set the rules. When the value is greater than zero, the icon will be red. Don't forget to change the type to number. The icon will be yellow when the value is equal to zero. Change type to number as well. And when the value is less than zero, the icon will be green. Don't forget to check show icon only. Click OK. I'll reduce the column width to make the icons appear next to the table. Now at a glance, you can see the change in each line item. If I change any of the values, you see the effect immediately. 
This analysis helps to remove every effect of seasonality in the business, which helps to effectively assess how the company performed over the period. That's all for today. If you'd like to see more videos on financial analysis, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.